This is a walkthrough video of 3844 Goshio. We're at the end, kind of the dead end section of Goshio. It doesn't go much further beyond this. Um, and here, I guess this is DeSoto Acres. This is a funky house. It's a cool house. Um, a lot of neat things on this house that I am going to show you, but it immediately you're greeted with a whole bunch of wood. You got wood floors, you got wood walls, you got wood ceiling. If you like wood, you've come to the right place. Um, <laughs> even the blinds are wood. Look at that. They're not, that's an imitation wood, but it does look like wood. Um, so this is the older part of the house. It's been added on. There's one amazing feature in this house that I'll get to, but let me first just show you um, this would be the master bedroom and the exposed beams and the wood ceiling. I mean, it's, it's if you like wood. So this is the master uh, bathroom. has a nice, uh, nice shower. It's got another vanity here and then a walk-in closet. So this is all, you know, it's a nice, oh, and the water heater's back here. That's it. Water heater looks to be in good condition. Wired properly with a pan even. What a bonus. Okay. So this is the master suite. And then we come over here to uh, this big open area. And this is guest bedroom number one. And it's just a pretty small 12 by 12 bedroom. Nothing remarkable. Bedroom number two. This has a couple windows and it's giving you a peek of the amazing feature in this house. Look at this! Look at this pool. I'm gonna come back to it. I'll give. I'll do it justice. Uh, we do have uh, crank out windows in this older part of the house, and then this is the guest bathroom, which would service both um, both bedrooms. Pretty nice. Has a tub. Not sure about that piece of art there, but then there's this uh, little sitting area out here which apparently the cats are out here, so I can't let them out. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi, you're a friendly kitty. Yeah. So this is uh, just kind of a, it probably was screened at one time, but now it's uh, enclosed. It has its own opening here and uh, is glassed off from the rest of the house, apparently to keep the cats out here. Actually, has a nice sliders. Okay. So then we have a dining room, which just has, that's not a door, that's just a crank out window. Um, and then this is the kitchen. The kitchen's actually quite nice. I mean, this is a laminate, um, black appliances. It's got a nice peninsula. So it's a little closed in, but it's, it's still pretty open and functional. Has a sink, which is looking out at the most amazing pool that I've ever seen. And I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. And then um, I got an eat-in eat -in area here. This is not a door, but it's a, it's a big window. And I guess I'll take a look at this bathroom right now. So this bathroom, this is the third bathroom that we're seeing, third and last bathroom. It's a full bathroom with a nice shower. It's actually nicely done. And then this goes out to the pool area. All right, might as well do the pool area. This is amazing pool area. I mean, it's, it's really cool. It's got a pass through to the to the uh, kitchen there. It's all screened in. Um, that bedroom opened on to this. One strange thing though is that block cinder block building out there is where the laundry room is, and so that's the laundry facilities in there. Strangely enough, and this is just like a little planter box, a little I don't know, a little niche. I guess we'll call it a niche, but look at this pool. This is an amazing pool. Yeah, this is like an indoor pool. This is all screened in, so you don't have to worry about the humidity because the problem with the indoor pools, you get a lot of humidity in the house. But this all opens up onto this big room. And this big room has a, has a cool fireplace. Uh, that is a wood-burning fireplace. And then this screen door goes back out to the kitchen. So I've kind of went through that bathroom and then came back out to this uh, living bar area. This is the fourth bedroom and it has a little kitchenette. This could be a mother-in-law suite. There's a lot of stuff in here. So it does have a closet though, but it's a, 
it's um it's a big space but it is a step down here and so that is a separate separate room <clears throat> the cool other cool thing about this property is it sits on like three acres i believe i believe it's three acres and so the acreage goes way back there and there's a stable in here with uh yeah i think you could have four horses horse stalls and there's plenty of acreage to go way back there um we're on well you know it's a bit overgrown acs look like they've seen better days but just look at that that's where the pool is isn't that just amazing it's actually a nice little deck out here so this house 439 i mean you're getting a lot of land i mean we're talking about 3300 square feet under air it's listed by apple real estate i think this is eric's listing and um gotta say this is this house is cool it's got a lot of possibilities a lot of options uh, and that pool is just out of this world i've never seen anything like that that's that's really cool. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.